Hello everyone, welcome back to Radiology Med Easy, your all-time favorite YouTube channel. Let's see today's case. So, this is the image of today's case. First, go through it and come to your own diagnosis. Then, we will continue with the case discussion. Hi everyone, this is case number 29 in RS series in radiology. Today our patient is 48 year old patient presented with hoarseness of voice and difficulty in swallowing. So this is the frontal chest radiograph of skeleton immature female patient. You can see the breast shadows. Yes, so it's a female patient. And uh, the abnormality here is uh, there's superior mediastinal widening due to a mass and uh, mass is mainly located in the right paratracheal region and uh, it has well defined lateral margin and medial margins merge with the superior mediastinum and so there is a mass in the superior mediastinum superior mediastinum and uh, it has soft tissue density and there are no air bronchogram air fluid levels calcifications or cavitations and uh, it extends above the medial margin of the clavicle so upper board extends above the medial margin of the clavicle so that means it, ri it arises from the neck region it appears to arise from the neck region and this you can see deviation of trachea to the left side it has been deviated and uh, so there are no obvious uh, high lab abnormalities and uh, the lung fields appear lung parenchyma appear normal no mass lesions or no reticular nodule shadows in lungs and uh, in this region no obvious bone destruction and uh, no pleural effusions no pneumothorax no cardiomegaly and uh, diaphragm contours are normal they are normal positions and the diagnosis in this case is retrosternal goiter the diagnosis in this case uh, differential diagnosis you can take uh, lymphoma lymphoma is the main differential diagnosis or else uh, you can get the differential diagnosis of uh, any teratoma teratomas can also appear like this if it is located in the anterior media same or a little bit below the clavicles and one differential diagnosis is uh, thymic mass it has to be located in anterior media stinum, just somewhat below this lesion so in retrosternal goiters you have to look for any calcifications those goiters commonly calcify and it's a clue for the diagnosis the trachea shift is also clue for another diagnosis and also this cervicothoracic sign cervicothoracic sign is also clue for the diagnosis so that concludes case number 21 in rs series so please subscribe to our youtube channel then you will get notifications of our new videos and also you can comment on our videos thank you everyone Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for more videos like this.